Morning everyone. <clears throat> I've got man flu. As is always the case at this time of year, I always seem to get it. Um, I'm looking outside at the weather thinking, what the hell, hell am I doing? It's blowing an absolute gale and uh, it is atrocious. Let's go and do it. <laughs> Let's go for it. Well, the rain's gone off a bit and I'm back in the great outdoors. I've got with me today a large Polish Lavu tent and a Swedish army LK75 rucksack and I'm going to head to a patch of private woodland which I've got the use of and get the Lavu set up, cook some nice food and just have a nice relaxing time. I've come in a different way today so I'll um, I'll have to work out whether I can get there from this angle but it's good to be out and it's good to be getting another video for you guys um, before Christmas. Some deer. Look at that. Magic. Well, this could be a disaster. Going for the leap of faith. Made it, made it, we're here, we're here, oh we are here, cracking. Ground sheet, lavu. Go. Right, I'm I'm fairly happy with that setup. It's only a day camp after all. Um, it could have been a bit torter. And I know there's various mods you can do to these. I'm going to be modding this. So stay tuned for later videos where I'm going to be adding a side skirt to it. And uh, hopefully an inner floor. I want to get some hot tenting done in winter in this Lavu. I really like it. I want to learn more about it and um, get the best out of it. But I'm pleased with that. And now in the glorious outdoors. Uh, it's nice to be out. So I've got a couple of hours got some nice steak to cook up we have a nice steak steak and onion baguette um, and I'm looking forward to it I've just seen those deer the roe deer on the way in that was really nice so I'm gonna get myself comfortable get a coffee on the go and uh, just practice some mindfulness just just listen listen to the sounds take in the sights and just enjoy this glorious outdoors Yeah. 
I'll bring you in for a closer look. Welcome, oh, welcome to the den. Here we are, looking out on the world. Loads of room in here, this is the large one, and it's absolutely mint. So, I'm gonna get a brew on. So on this one, I've uh, I brought this ultralight folding table, 65 grams. It's kindly provided by Valley and Peak, which I'll provide a link in the description below. It's an ultralight folding table. Situations like this, where you've got all your gear on the ground. Yeah, I've got a ground sheet, but it's not ideal. And um, I want to have me brew. I'm going to show you how this is going to enhance my um, my little wild camp experience. So let's have a look at this. So it's one-handed. Um, don't have the benefit of a tripod with a GoPro, but. If you open this up, these just flick out, little feet fold apart, and there are Velcro fasteners on each side. I'm sorry about the shaky footage everyone, but I'm trying to do it one handed. Really simple, no faff. Anyone that knows me knows I hate faff. There we go. That is great. Really simple simple design it's got reflective strips on the side there so at night you're gonna see it you're not gonna stand on it if you're having a little wander just to take in the views you come back when it's dark use that near the porch of your tent for a little bit of a way marker and uh, find your way back so I'm gonna make myself a brew it's really cozy in here people don't talk about the, the coziness aspect of these lavus the smell the military surplus smell um, it's just really nice and cozy being in here with your, your little light and stuff I always talk about it harks back to the days of den building when you were you were a kid it's just something comforting about being under here two little ponchos they button together to form this great shelter I've not waterproofed it it has a slight treatment on it as it comes but the more you use them when they get wet the fibers expand and knit into each other and it seals up all the pores and it's a great great bit of kit you can modify them there's wealth of knowledge on lavu owners forums um, and i'm going to modify this one i want to try some hot tenting so that will be in videos to come i got this one from my uh, friends over at military mart which are a great outdoor military surplus store link in the description below but for all your surplus needs uh, and, and everything else basically to do with the outdoors and wild camping check out military mart I'm going to fire up a coffee, you can hear possibly hoarseness in my voice, like I say, I've got man flu, I'm getting memories to show your state challenge of last year, but um, I need a coffee, so stop wishing on and uh, I'll make a brew. mine strong so that will do me Another good thing about this table, there's a high melting point, just boil that and there's no issues whatsoever in placing that hot vessel onto their surface, it's absolutely fine. Superb bit of kit, really light, really simple, no moving parts to break or rust, 
head over to Valley and Peak and check them out and especially yourself mate because I know you like keeping your gear up and off the ground that is brilliant so thanks again absolutely perfect a brew and a nice pastry oh god it's hot this is better than politics nice well it's been nice I've just been having a look out taking it all in relaxing de-stressing um, the rain's been intermittent so I don't hold out much hope for for getting a fire going but I'm going to have a go nonetheless and we'll see what happens I'm going to go out now and collect some firewood perseverance is key um, I've got one fire starting tablet so hopefully that will produce enough heat just to get the first couple of twigs going and then I can pile the rest in who knows we'll have a go we'll see what happens come in massive rain shower it's not worth getting soaked in that I think my fire chances are slim to none Well folks, the little fire was good when it lasted. Another little bit of kit I'm going to be using today, if we can get it out, is this insulated pouch by Valley and Peak. That's got my batteries in for my GoPro. It is very cold and ordinarily the temperature depletes your batteries, saps the life out of them, um, which is not ideal when you're coming out to make videos and you need your batteries to especially whilst you're camping overnight. So I've got that just in the uh, the breast pocket of this anorak. I've got my batteries, keep them warm there. And um, it's another brilliant bit of kit to be fair, really well made. There'll be an in-depth review of that coming soon. 
So I've had a bit of a fire, a little bit of a chill out. Um, what I'm now going to do is prepare some red onion, get that fried up, get get lunch done, um, and then head back to base because this man flu is getting worse. So I think a single malt is in order and an early night. So let's get the onion chopped up and let's prepare our lunch. Don't need to go overboard on this. Nicely caramelised those onions now. Not sure what angle you get in there folks, but you know, you've just got to get it done when the weather's like this, haven't you? Red cup. Got some gravy just to dip that into. Oh, that looks nice. That looks very nice. I'll lower this down now. That is just about done. Over there. Just to cool down. And now, let's get this gravy on. Rain is horrific. Ugh. That's better. Slice it properly now. This table is really impressive. Really sturdy. Putting a fair bit of pressure on that. And there's no issues. Let's try a bit. It's nectar. Smells amazing, really does. Oh, gravy, it's got red wine, everything in it. Unbelievable. Let's just uh, let's just be gratuitous. Big slab of steak. Dunk it in there. Bit of gratuitous food porn. Look at that. Oh. oh my word, that is unreal, right let's construct this baguette and then consume, 
Let's get the uh, onions in first. Caramelised. Okay. Let's get that steak in. Oh my word, she's a good one. <laughs> So we've got our baguette and our bucket of gravy just to dip that into. It smells so nice in here. Let's uh, utilise our table. Look at that folks, mega. Oh, unbelievable. Going for the full dip in. Look at that. There's some serious kit washing going on when I get in. Oh. Unbelievable. Right folks, that was absolutely delicious, made nicer by the environment that you're eating it in, it's just, uh, it was lovely, really soft, really tender steak, nice cut, and uh, the onions and the gravy, just dipping that bread in, it was absolutely gorgeous, so I'm glad I went to a little bit of extra effort there, really pleased with how that turned out. Anyway, I'm going to toast to a year of MCM, a successful year of MCM Outdoor Show. I've put a lot of hard work into the channel. I've tried to get out as much as I can whilst working full time and um, bringing up two little amazing people. Uh, it's been tough, busy schedule, but it's something I enjoy, so it's not a chore. I've enjoyed every minute of it, made some brilliant memories this year. And as we come up to Christmas, past 2,000 subscribers, you know, I'm really proud of that achievement. That's an achievement for me. Um, you know, obviously, thanks to Matt and Walshie for coming along as well when they can. It's all appreciated and it's a team effort. We'll have a little swig of this one. A plunged orange pale ale. And that is lovely. Get yourself down to Lidl. Cheap and nice. Anyway, as we move forward to Christmas and New Year, I hope everyone has a nice Christmas. Whatever they're doing, who they're with, even if you're on your own, make the most of it, look back on your year, and let's all look forward to 2020, and hopefully it's going to be happy and prosperous and healthy for us all. Look forward to bigger and better things for MCM Outdoor Show. I'll be carrying on. Walsh should be out when he can, so will Matt. We're going to look at some more gear, test some more gear, get out wild camping whenever we, we can, and try and think outside the box and bring you some new things. So thank you once again. Thanks for all the people that subscribe to MCM Outdoor Show. Really, really do appreciate it. And we value every single one of you. Happy Christmas, everyone. Have a brilliant, happy and prosperous new year. And I will see you in 2020 for more of the same. Just to finish off, if you're not subscribed to MCM Outdoor Show, please do click that subscribe button below. I've left some cards as well at the top of the video, things that I think you might find interesting. If you're on Facebook, head over to our closed group, 
where there's a load of like-minded people and we share things and knowledge all about the great outdoors. If you're on Twitter, find me on there, at MCM Outdoor Show. Likewise, Facebook, search for MCM Outdoor Show, find our logo and follow us on there. Have a happy Christmas, everyone, and have a happy, prosperous and healthy New Year. Thanks very much. And to everyone, go and enjoy the great outdoors. And to finish on this one, write your own adventure. See you everyone, take care.